One of the biggest concerns for investors is what the action could do to the cost of energy. Uh, Brent crude touched 99.50 a barrel yesterday. This morning, oil prices are kind of flat, holding on against John Kilduff. Again, Capital Founding Partner is a CNBC contributor. And I'm seeing some comments, John, from uh, about a, a separate thing from Germany saying, you know, this, this suspension of Nord Stream 2 isn't just a matter of days. We couldn't redo it. It would actually take weeks if we decided to, to start recertifying again. That is not a, a cancellation, certainly, of the project. That is not a cancellation of the project, Joe. That, that pipeline is built, filled with gas right now, ready to go. Cheap gas, as a matter of fact, much cheaper than the LNG that they're begging the world to supply them with. So um, I think that uh, that project is, is very much, it may be on some life support, but uh, it's looking good. It's a medically induced coma, if to put it in the analogy. Um, what do you expect... I don't know how you make a determination, John, because we don't know, you know, what's next in terms of, of Putin's plans. But w what's your price target on, on where Brent goes or, or WTI? Well, I mean, if this is it, Joe, I mean, if, if this is as far as Putin goes, we should begin to grind lower again. Uh, importantly, the this first round of sanctions announced by all the uh, world leading countries here, uh, the coalition, uh, it, it's hands off energy. It's hands off Russian oil. So right there, we the, the biggest fears in the market was a loss of any of Russia's six million barrels per day of exports, uh, and not being touched really, I think, breathes a, a sigh of relief uh, here by traders uh, in the market because that that was the big Megillah, and that's no longer on the table at least for now, unless something else happens. Now we're seeing reports that Russia is pulling their diplomatic. Uh, folks out of Ukraine? Is, is that another warning signal that we need to process? I mean, yeah, maybe. But I, I'll tell you, I was uh, instructed by your interview last hour with General Petraeus, uh, who reminded us all how difficult it is that the invasion part is almost, for lack of a better word, easy. It's garrisoning the country and, and managing it is, is the real problem. And that might not be too attractive uh, to President Putin after all. So, so we'll have to see. So as long as this situation remains measured, albeit uncomfortable and untoward, uh, prices should be uh, quiescent here uh, for a little while and, and grind lower. But I will tell you as well that we are a headline away from this thing shooting above 100 bucks. We, we printed 99.50 on Brent, as you said. Once a, a commodity prints something like that, the next level at $100 level, that mythical level, it will go through it like a hot knife through butter. So, so we're very vulnerable. So there's a, a very... Uh, wide array of, of price outcomes at the moment. But again, as long as we don't get the, the, the next step by Russia as far as the incursion or invasion goes here, uh, we should be okay because we're going into the shoulder demand period uh, as we head into the Northern Hemisphere spring. We, we don't have the heating demand pressures uh, on the crude barrel and supplies. And we don't have to really worry about a spike higher in demand again until we get into the summer. And there's a lot of runway between now and then uh, for more supply to come on the market, for refiners to get through their turnaround period, and for actually crude oil inventories to build up, Joe, over the next several weeks while they do their seasonal maintenance here in the U.S. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.